from mantis shrimp to puffer fish to things you've never even seen before. Here are some of the coolest rare fish in the world. The first fish on the list is the Mappa puffer. It's an adorable puffer fish, but it is extremely aggressive. It gets 30 inches and you can find them located in the Indian Ocean. Like many other puffer fish, it is poisonous and it has spines in its skin. These are called dermal spines and despite this, it is a extremely sought after fish in the aquarium hobby and it is even eaten as a delicacy in some countries. Sorry bud. I found this baby Mappa Puffer and it was only $100 and it was really hard for me to not buy it because to get an adult it is going to run you $500, yes that is right, 5 Ben Franks to get your hands on an adult Mappa Puffer. The next fish on the list is the black tip shark. This guy has some black tip sharks in a pretty small tank but you can tell that they're babies. The black tip shark gets five to six feet and to keep an adult one you're gonna need at least a thousand gallon tank or a saltwater pond and you could probably get one of them by fishing if you live somewhere like florida i think this guy got his by fishing in florida but keep in mind that they are very aggressive yes that means that they will bite you if you have food in the tank and they are not careful this guy has a four foot black tip shark and it looks like it has plenty of space in his tank. This tank must be about 3000 gallons. It's absolutely huge. And this is a good example of someone taking care of their black tip shark in a great tank. The next fish is the Japanese dragon eel and they get three to four feet long. You're gonna need at least 180 gallons to keep one of these and they originate from Japan. Like most other eels, the Japanese dragon eel is basically blind, so when you feed it, you need to get the food directly up to its mouth, just like this guy's doing, and it may accidentally eat your fish. That is because it is blind, dumb, and aggressive. To buy one of these, it is gonna run you about $1,400, and yeah, that's a lot to spend on an eel. Especially when you consider the fact that eels jump out of their tanks all the time. Did you get them out? Oh, 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 But yeah, if I was to keep one of these, I would keep it with other aggressive fish. Maybe a three-headed monster, kind of like how this girl has it. And yeah, that is the drag needle. The next fish is the common squid. Now, the common squid is actually a cephalopod. They can get 5 to 16 inches and they live 3 to 5 years. The size is directly related to their lifespan, so that means you're definitely going to get a bigger squid in the wild than in a tank. They can release ink to escape from predators and they can also change colors as a form of camouflage. They are very smart and they hunt prey in a very fun way to watch. You can get a group of them and it's going to run you about $100 per squid. The next fish on the list is the cuttlefish. Now this is not an actual fish either, it is a cephalopod. You can get a pack of cuttlefish as well. If you look at this guy, he's feeding his and they are insanely cute and also alien, strange, and fascinating at the same time. Like this guy is just so cute and would be so fun to play with because cuttlefish are actually extremely intelligent. The most common way to buy one of these is to get a cuttlefish egg. You can actually raise it and watch it grow, but I know that you can get the fancy cuttlefish on a website. They are extremely expensive and a lot more than the common cuttlefish. The next fish is the pelagic triggerfish. 
These can get up to 14 inches long and they need a 300 gallon tank because like their name pelagic, this means that they swim in the open ocean. So they're gonna be swimming a lot and they need a lot of space to do so. Like most other trigger fish, the pelagic trigger fish is extremely aggressive. But this one has been rumored to be the most aggressive trigger fish on earth. This is the only one I've seen kept in captivity and he is completely alone. That is because they say that it will kill and attack any fish no matter the size that's put in the tank with it. When doing my research, I heard that you could get one for five to six hundred dollars, but when searching, I found that people that keep them usually pay upwards of a thousand dollars for one of these trigger fish. The next fish is a really cool one. It's called a rhinopius. It gets seven to nine inches, but you only need a 40 gallon to keep one, and that's because they stay relatively still the entire time. That is until the rhinopius decides to attack. And these guys have one of the fastest bites in the animal kingdom. Not to mention they are venomous. So although they don't swim or walk in their case around, they are still a very fun fish to keep and provide extremely entertaining live feedings. All of this is the reason why the rhinopius costs $500. Yes, that's right. A rhinopius is going to run you $500. It's a type of scorpion fish that's extremely rare. And to get one of these, you're going to have to pay a premium.